In this tutorial I'll be using a plugin called Liquid Rescaler. It will rescale an image, stretch it out to a large size or remove items from an image. Now it, the website for download will be loaded onto the screen here. It has a, a wizard for loading it onto your GIMP. Quite easily done. So I'll open an image, a fairly recent image. Uh, this one here has got a little statue in it. Now I'm going to rescale this image. You can see how wide it is now. I'm going to rescale it We're using Liquid Rescaler. I'll go to Layers, that's where it's, it's placed the, uh, the plug-in. There it is there, Liquid Scaler, Rescaler. And I click on it. It takes me to a dialog box where I can make two choices. I can use the Feature Preservation Mask or the Feature Discard Mask. I'm going to use the Feature Preservation Mask in this demonstration. So I'll click on New and it takes me back to my screen. Now the new version of this liquid scaler uh, has a lot of new things. The older one was a little bit more difficult to use. Now it's given me uh, a green mask to work with. I need to be in my brush which I have up here and select it, my brush tool. Now I need to paint the area I want to preserve. I paint around the perimeters of this little statue first. I've taken his shadow as well because I want to preserve that. I don't want to get it all squashed up or stretched. Now this time I'll just move around and I need to paint everything inside those perimeters of the, of the outside because the software looks at the painted preserve area to work with. Now I'll click OK and that takes me back to the dialog box where it asks for what you want to do now. This time I'm going to uh, widen the image by a certain amount. Now pixels are a little bit tricky to use so I'm going to go to inches so it makes it much easier. I'm going to add three inches to my image. I just type in there three image, three inches, three inches and then I click OK. That's all I need to do with this one. Now it goes through and does all that scaling for me and preserves the green area that I've painted. It'll stretch everything else out. Now notice the leaves there and we're going to have a look at the when the finished product. There we go, it's completed. Now I'll just hit the tab keys on the keyboard to remove the toolbar and the uh, layer dialog. You can see how much it stretched the image and it's left all the branches and everything in the background pretty well clean without being stretched in, out of proportion. I'll go back to uh, the layers and I click on that layer up there and I hit the, the uh, little waste bin in the corner here and that removes the layer mask. And that's our job completed on that one. I'll close that one off. We're going to uh, discard something in an image this time. And I'll bring back my uh, tools, toolbar, and open a recent image once again. And this image, I'm going to remove this post and part of the trunk of the tree. I go to layer, this is where the uh, liquid rescaler is placed. I click on there and it'll give me a little dialog box in a moment. I'm going to discard a feature now from the mask. So I need to hit the uh, discard feature new. And once again it gives me this little dialog here. And you don't touch that until you've finished painting. It needs to be in the paintbrush. And this time it's given me a red colour to paint out with the mask. I just choose the, uh, the post like so. Go all the way down, just make sure it's covered. I take part of the trunk of that tree out because when it takes the post out, you only have half the trunk. So, once again, I'll click that off and it takes me back to the uh, liquid plug in. And this time, I'm going to work with inches once again, it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm going to take one inch off, which allows me to calculate what that area might have been on the image. So, now I just hit OK and liquid scaler goes through and removes that item for me. Now the, the trunk of the tree has been moved and removed and also the post. You can see now that the flower basket appears to be hanging from the tree or floating in the air. I just click on the top one and hit the waste bin and the job's completed.